Uh, hi, I'm Scott Slusher. I'm the lead developer and creator of Little Gator Game. And I'm Connor Quinn. I'm the writer, animator, and media manager for Little Gator Game. So we're looking at a speed run. We're looking at Arrow's world record, right? It's going to be incredibly fast uh, because it's a short game on its own. Yeah, we, we work together with the speedrunning community to develop this speedrun mode. Um, and the thing to figure out what things were important for to make the speed run go as smoothly as possible. And so the text skips as quickly as possible. The name is automatically entered. Um, when you hold down the attack button, uh, the, the weapon swings as fast as possible. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. <laughs> You'll remember it later when we see it. Uh, but right now, what just happened was we went through the little prologue at the beginning of the game that gets all that, um, the the establishing of the story. And now we're yeah. going to meet up with their friends on this island and try. I think this, I, I think this might go too fast to try to summarize the story. <laughs> we're already going over to Martin uh, for for his fetch quest. But the the shield is going to be a big part of the speed run. I'm thinking because uh, yeah, this mountain here is not supposed to be climbable. Um, it's intended that you get you get a bracelet which lets you climb things, uh, and that's you're supposed to get that first. But they use the shield to bounce off of there to to skip up that cliff. I've tried that myself. It's harder than it looks. Um, when we were first uh, building the island, one of the things I went and did was um, try to get up the side of every surface without a bracelet, uh, which I did. Did they even get the bracelet? No, I put in a fail safe that they're going to be triggering pretty ah, soon, right. where if you skip the bracelet on this little island, uh, right here at the end of this cutscene, uh, they'll just give you a bracelet for free as a little failsafe. I put that in in case people skipped the bracelet on accident, and because they could potentially soft lock themselves on the big island without the bracelet. There, there's the bracelet. Uh, but I also put it in because I figured speedrunners would appreciate it. Uh... Oh, sh shield skipping is a big mechanic that we added pretty late into development. Uh, you see how they're skimming over water with the shield. Uh, I I put that in almost entirely because I figured that high level players would appreciate weird tech like that. So at each of the three locations in the game, while we're looking for the three friends that you made on the previous island, there are three more friends that you have to help out. And what Arrow just did there was start all three of their quests at the same time uh, so that they could just worry about charting the route uh, to get all of them done. And now what we're doing over here is stopping through and completing a, a side quest, which are where you get most of your crafting materials and items in the game. Well, and friends. In order to beat the game, you need a certain amount of friends. Uh, so it looks like they've routed very specific people. Like that that quest back there on the cliff had gave you three friends as rewards because there were three people associated with it. Uh, so this is what the crafting material they got earlier was for. Uh, there are multiple ranged weapons in the game, but the shuriken uh, flies the furthest and the straightest. Uh, it's also one of the ones you can get the quickest. Oh, and, and they're grabbing all of these side quests while doing a main quest. That beetle that's, that's flying over them, 
uh, they have to chase it through the forest, and they're, they're if yeah, you it's leave like finishing it, another main quest while still chasing the beetle. Yeah. And th this is where that thing I mentioned earlier, where if you hold the mouse button, it just attacks as quickly as possible, comes in, is smacking that rock. Well, that's a neat little jump. That was a neat little jump. So there are three sort of areas in the game, the forest, the creek, and the mountains. And uh, this run is going to take us through them in that order, kind of moving along the landscape. And we're about to head to the creek where we're going to get an item that uh, makes jumps even cooler. Seeing the usage of the shurikens already. This is an interesting pick for a side quest to me because it uh, it's just a little back and forth, but I guess if it's on the way. Well, and it's two friends. Ah, that's true. We, I, we tried to design side quests in that way where um, the further out of your way or more time you were willing to spend on it, the bigger a reward you'd get for it. Oh, I get Joe here. Joe is on one of these moving paths, and um, when when NMP, when NPCs that are walking around spawn, they spawn in a random spot along their path. So they got a pretty lucky grab there. Also, they just finished a quest off screen. I think they just threw a shuriken at a chessboard from across the map and yeah. finished a quest. Oh, and they got the bubble gum, which unlocks a lot of weird speed tech. We didn't fully, yeah, that, that was sort a nice of combo. Five seconds. Uh, the bubble gum is intended to just be a little thing where you just use it and you float up a little bit, but speed runners have found all of these crazy little combos that you can use it with where it essentially gives you a double jump at the cost of some stamina. I've seen a lot of people uh, comment on this quest. It's something of a fan favorite and I'm very happy with it. It actually took a, a while to no, I guess we hit up Lucas on that little island, but um, these kids, the, the, the creek side quest or uh, main quest characters are a lot further spread out than the ones in the forest. So it took a longer route to get to all of them. What just happened there? I don't know. I, I, I thought they were going to shoot themselves up to the billboard. No, I just... so, go ahead. I just shot it remotely, but I saw them bounce a little bit. I don't even know if that was part of the run. I think that might have been an accident. You notice they kind of just sat around there for a while, and that's because um, most of the text bubbles in the game are skippable, but those ones uh, aren't. You kind of just have to wait to be able to interact again. Hooray! Another really good lucky grab. That that NPC is also on a random path, and they were just right along the path. Oh, here's where a little funny combo is. You get a little bit, a tiny bit of height off of the shield, but mostly forward, and you get a good amount of height off of the bubble jump. You get a tiny amount of height if you are already going up with the mm -hmm. shield. If you're going down and use the shield, it just it doesn't give you any extra height. But if you I think, uh, looking at the speedrun chat in our Discord, 
I think people have figured out how to abuse the bubblegum even more since this speedrun came out. So I'm interested to see if we'll just see people rising into the sky, stamina free at some point. Ice cream break. These friends, like the Creek friends, are also fairly spread out, and they're also um, hidden in their own little nooks and crannies. Oh, up the mountain. see the Zhu there, the 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 fox that gives you the skipping rock, actually appears, I think, in three different locations around the map, um, and it's just the the first place you find them is where they stick around at. That was weird. Oh, they kept getting stuck in the rock. So whenever you get an item, it equips automatically. So uh, you don't have to go hunt for it in your inventory. But that does mean that you have to take that little extra half second to make sure the thing you want is in the slot you want it to be. Yeah, which item did they end up sticking with? The shuriken or the the gun? <laughs> the I think blaster. I'm use the shuriken because it, uh, it flies straighter. Oh, interesting. I would think the gun would be better because you can rapid fire it so easily, like they did with the balloons with the UFO. Yeah, there's. Uh, I think they did that to get it done quick, but I'm pretty sure there are advantages. And Runners do like to just spam the weapon in the general direction of the crafting materials. Another tricky little climb. You you get other bracelets. You can get other bracelets in the game. There are four bracelets, uh, but I suspect that we're not going to see more than one throughout this run. They are well hidden. They're, they're intended to be rewards for exploration. Ooh! Ooh, oh. that was cute! You can serve the momentum if you use the bubble quickly. Because if you use the bubble and you hold it, the bubble will slow you down because it has air resistance. But if you just use it for an instant, apparently the momentum carries forward. Mm -hmm. So what happened was... Arrow went around completing all the quests, and then the last thing they did was come back to Tom, who gives you the idea to build all these structures. Uh, normally, people find the playground much earlier than this. Another flashback sequence. We've entered the, uh, what's it called? The Nightmare of the Mind? Uh, I don't know if it's a nightmare, at least not yet, but this should just be movement, because there's no, like, quest objectives or anything. It's just from getting, getting from point A to point B as quickly as, oh, a shortcut. Yeah, this jump is cool. The reason they took that uh, path and then the shortcut is you do have to hit those specific checkpoint uh, pictures. To keep well, that was there. really smooth. I didn't expect people to go up there <laughs> <laughs> on those cliffs on the side. Usually they don't. Usually you're absolutely right. This part's fun because the fastest way is the most fun way. Yeah, I specifically, all oh, the end of the run is right here uh there's still this long cutscene, but we all kind of decided like at that point um yeah it's all just it's, wrap up after that yeah it's just dialogue and the dialogue auto skips so the last input of the run is when you break that last breakable in the flashback sequence for uh 14 well the video is 14 minutes 13 55 uh, who would have thought years of our lives could go fit into 1355, huh? 
Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. We, we appreciate you. Play a little Gator game. It's on Steam and Switch. We'll love it. Thanks.